Slightly. I mean, it was there. It was clearly there. It was there because it didn't make a difference. In other words, he wasn't running against anyone serious. It's not a question. They voted for someone else. They said uh, they don't want anybody. There was a protest vote. They voted. We saw there was a significant number in Michigan. There was a significant number in Minnesota, uh, areas where there are large um, Muslim American populations and other progressives. Uh, I don't think it makes a big difference ultimately, especially if our war ends anytime soon. If it's still going on in October, November, maybe some of those people will stay home. On the other hand, if he fights with Netanyahu some more, maybe they'll come out and vote for Biden. Biden, so who knows? Um, what are the major policy differences on this part of the world when it comes to Joe Biden and Donald Trump? Well, I think the difference is one has a policy and one we have no idea what his policy is. Uh, you know, Trump. Which is which? <laughs> right, that's the big question. Trump, we have no idea what his policy. He doesn't really have policies. He has a personality. Um, he's much more isolationist in general, which isolationists mean they don't want to be involved in other people's issues anywhere in the world, whether it's NATO or whether it's us. Theoretically, Trump is pro Israel, but how does that translate? I do not know. He's talked about giving loans instead of uh, grants, which would have certainly affecting Israel very much if we had to borrow all this money as opposed to receiving it as grants. Um, but we really don't know what Trump's policies are, except for the border. Everything else is unknown. He has said uh, what happened on October 7th wouldn't have happened. If That's personality, because he's but such a strong person. So, you know, no one would start up when he's president of the United States. So it's a, it's a personality issue. We truly do not know what the policies look. The Republican Party has no platform. It didn't have one last time, and it's not going to have one this time. So what are the policies? Whatever Trump wants them to be. All and right. we don't know what that is. Well, one policy uh, where there might be some differences on the Iran nuclear deal, um, Joe Biden made that a, a, poli a foreign policy priority w when he first uh, came to office to restore uh, the nuclear deal with Iran, which, of course, Trump tore up. Uh, what, what do you think might happen there? Well, look, it, 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 he tore it up, but with no plan what to do afterwards. And the reality is that it, uh, Biden was unsuccessful in convincing the Iranians to go back to the deal. And right now we're at a point where Iran is on the verge of being a nuclear nation. Um, I think we're too late, frankly. Um, Israel, you know, vowed it would stop it, but at this point there's very little that's going to stop Iran if it decides to become nuclear. I don't see Trump starting a nuclear war with Iran or going to war with Iran over it at this point. He'll huff and puff, but that's unfortunately his motto. He huffs and puffs and we don't really know what he wants to do.